In 1961, as John Glenn was preparing to orbit the Earth for the first time, he refused to take off before the mission calculations were double-checked by NASA's most trusted aerospace technologist, Katherine Coleman Johnson. If she says the numbers are good, I'm ready to go, Glenn said. Once Ms. Johnson validated the calculations, Glenn was ready for blast-off, and the rest is history. From an early age, Ms. Johnson loved to count. She remarked, I counted everything. I counted the steps to the road, the steps to the church, the number of dishes and silverware I washed. Anything that could be counted, I did. By 13, she was attending classes on the campus of West Virginia State College, where she graduated at the age of 18 with a degree in mathematics. She then became one of the three black students to integrate West Virginia's graduate schools. Despite her qualifications, her job prospects were limited by race and gender. A relative told her about the all-black West Area Computing Section at the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, headed by fellow West Virginian Dorothy Vaughn, and where she met Mary Jackson, the first black female engineer at NASA. They were commonly referred to as computers who wore skirts. The 1957 launch of the Soviet satellite Sputnik changed history. It was the beginning of the space race, and winning it was a matter of American national pride and security. Ms. Coleman Johnson calculated the trajectories for some of NASA's landmark missions, including the 1961 space flight of Adam Shepard, the first American in space, and Apollo 11's 1969 flight to the moon. Ms. Coleman Johnson was among the small group of engineers that formed the core of the Space Task Group, NASA's first official foray into space travel. In 2015, at the age of 97, President Obama awarded her the Presidential Medal of Freedom. America's highest civilian honor. It was also a thrill for Infor to host a pre-launch early screening of the movie Hidden Figures, the 2016 film that chronicled the experiences of Katherine Coleman Johnson, Dorothy Vaughn, and Mary Jackson at NASA. That screening inspired a group of African-American business leaders to send over 25,000 children across the country to see the film for free. When Infor decided to name its science research and AI technology, we search for someone with certain qualities, innovation, professionalism, commitment to the mission, dignified substance, confident precision, and brilliance. I am honored to announce that Katherine Coleman Johnson has given us permission to use her name to introduce Infor's artificial intelligence platform to the world. We are honored to have the Jackson and Coleman Johnson families in the audience for this moment. Ms. Coleman Johnson was coincidentally, or maybe not, Born on August 26, Women's Equality Day. We see this as an opportunity to help usher her into the pantheon of history's greatest minds. Minds that only need one name. Turing, Edison, Hopper, Coleman. <laughs>